What's up guys, uh, today we're going to actually start creating our splash activity uh, to make it actually functional. So we're just going to delete all of this stuff within our, our main class and we're just going to start from scratch. Basically first I want to teach you about what an activity needs to hold for Android application or pretty much this is basic programming fundamentals. This is what our activity is going to look like. We need our activity to hold all these functions or methods and basically this is what happens when we call the activity to start. So our Android manifest calls our activity to start and then it says on create and we have our set content view in there so it lays our background and then it's going to set up some other stuff that our program might need and then um, this will be on resume and this is when our program is actually running and basically uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of it might seem complicated at first, but after you look at it for a little bit, you'll kind of understand what's going on. So if our activity starts running. If our activity calls another activity to start in front of it, the first activity will go on pause, so it won't actually be running anymore. And then when we go back to that first activity, it's going to run through the resume function and start the activity running again. Um, if the activity is no longer visible it will again co go kind of on a pause but it's called stop and then we'll restart when we go back to the activity or it comes to the foreground as it says here it will do our start method go to resume and then start running the application again uh, finally we go down here uh, where we want to destroy our activity it's just going to shut down or if it's on pause and another application needs enough mem memory it's going to kill it and just restart so that's the basic layout that we need for our activity and so we're going to reference this I'll put the link up here it's just again on the developer android.com but uh, I'm going to put the link in the description below just kind of down the line and get our application running in this format for the splash screen so what we want our splash screen to do is we want it to run for five seconds and then basically open up the main menu and then kill itself uh, so we don't use a ton of memory. So that's going to be the layout of our splash screen. And in order to do that, we're going to start um, going into the Java code, which we just deleted everything. And again, if you remember, we just need to go on create. So we're going to set up that function, even though we had it earlier, an easier way to get the code written out correctly without remembering everything. You just right click and you go down to source right here and we want to go to implemented methods and again implemented methods is going to be from our activity class that we extended the super class called activity um, so we're going to have to override it and then we're going to want to find uh, just on or on create so I just typed on and it went down here bundle that's what we're looking for and the parameters takes a bundle like I mentioned in the previous video and you can name that whatever you want uh, it just says saved instant state and again it's right here so set the content view here this will pull up the XML so we're gonna go to to set content view and then again we want to reference it by typing instead of the at symbol like we did in XML it's gonna be r dot layout dot uh, splash and so that will pull, uh, that's just a start to our application. Um, basically, if we didn't delete anything from just previously, this is what it'll look like. So we just want to save our project. Okay, so we started our onCreate. There's going to be more that I'm going to put in the onCreate method, but we're going to just kind of get the layout going for this setup right here. So we're going to also do on resume, on pause, on stop, and on destroy. So I'm just going to put those in real quick. You can create more than just one at a time. So I'm just going to search for all these on resume, uh, on destroy, on on stop. So these are kind of the different methods that we can work through. Uh, later and just add to 
as we choose. But we're going to work on this create because basically this you know this is just going to show our screen forever but what we're going to want to do is on create we're going to set up a timer and once that timer runs out then we're going to call up the new activity that we want um, that will show our menu so it's going to destroy this one and create the menu activity first create a new activity so right click go new and we'll again go uh, this is called a class to set up an activity so we're going to do new class and we're going to go my menu and it's public and we're just going to hit finish so again we this is Java and it, it still is from our package up here and for this activity we're going to have to create a thread and basically what a thread is you can have multiple things going on at the same time instead of just being like do this and then after you get done doing that do this for example this is kind of a thread I'm listening to music on Pandora but when I go to this tab it's still playing or when I go to this program I'm still listening to music right now I mean basically threads are super important for a uh, game development and a lot of uh, different types of programming so we're gonna set that up in our on create method what we need to do is we need to establish what the thread variable is gonna be or we do this just like our last tutorial so we're gonna type thread which is what it is and we're gonna a timer of some sort because this will be basically our timer for the splash screen so we're just gonna go logo timer and this will be our timer for the, for our logo or our splash screen we're gonna set it to new thread okay so now we set up our new thread but we didn't really define it as anything yet usually we define like an integer as a number right here but we want to set this up ourselves it's not just a number it's just gonna be our own little function that we want to set up so we're going to hit, uh, we're going to make a new bracket, and we're going to close this bracket off with a semicolon. Uh, that'll just say that this is closing off this thread that we're creating. And so what we want this thread to do is we want to have it run. Within the thread, we're going to have a run method going. So we're going to set up public void run. And again, I'll explain the public void and stuff later. That's kind of Java. Uh, jargon right there but we're going to set up a new bracket and a run method and basically the run is going to take three different brackets there's going to be a try and we're going to set up that bracket and then we go outside of our try bracket and it'll catch um, this will be our catch bracket and also we want to set up a finally and basically what's going to happen is we're going to try doing this this or our run method is going to try doing this this we're going to set up a loop our actual timer and then after that timer runs out we're going to start up our new activity if there's any errors or it's not running at a normal flow of speeds it's going to catch those exceptions and it's going to put it into a log of some sort finally after all that's been done uh, we're going to just finish the program so or we're going to finish the activity and you do that just with the finish command and this again is a method it will just finish this class this whole class my my main so it will just shut it down so after we run through our timer and everything it will shut this down 